Hey folks, Rob here, and I thought, uh, you know, if you watched my last video, you've seen today I picked up the uh, new Taurus TX-22, uh, and uh, I thought I would bring it out tonight, I'm going to try and shoot it tomorrow. Um, I would have shot it today, but I, uh, I shot the unboxing video, and uh, I'd actually worked 12 hours last night, so I worked all night, 12-hour uh, shift, and then... Uh, I stayed up this morning until after nine o'clock to go up to Caskey's and um, pick this up after nine. Uh, actually, it was uh, later than that, probably closer to ten when I picked it up. But anyway, long story short is, and then I had to meet my ex-boss that I used to work with at the hospital. We had lunch together today, and uh, uh, he wanted to tell me that he had. Uh, left the hospital and was no longer employed there and moving on to a new chapter in his life so anyway uh long story short is uh by the time i got the unboxing video short i had to lay down and take a nap so i didn't get to shoot this today so but uh i'm off for the next three days so we will get to shoot this hopefully tomorrow so anyway i thought i'd take it apart first and, and give it a initial cleaning so uh that it uh, would stand its best chance of uh, functioning. So what we'll do here is uh, we'll remove the magazine. Of course, the magazine is empty. We'll check to make sure the gun is unloaded and it, it's yet to be loaded. So, uh, But you always want to check your gun to make sure that your firearm is not loaded. Now, to unload these, or to break this down, you have to pull the trigger. So, with this, with the magazine out, and uh, first and foremost, assure that the uh, the gun is empty and safe to uh, handle, and always handle your firearms responsibly, and uh, never point them in a direction in which you uh, you don't want to uh, potentially uh, kill something. So, use firearm safety first and foremost, and uh, everything else will work out. So. Uh, Pull the trigger. Now on this model, you pull back just a little bit and you got your lever down here at the bottom that you pull down. And you pull that down and you'll see the slide will come forward just a little bit and it will simply lift off. You have your uh, one piece uh, guide rod, recoil spring, and then your barrel. Now, um, uh, and I'm assuming this was probably test fired from the factory. So, uh, but this is a uh, fixed barrel gun. If you notice here, you know it looks like a like a tilting barrel design. But what it actually does is, when you push your barrel down, it actually slides in there. This pin locks in a notch. So what you actually got is a fixed barrel. Uh, this barrel does not move when the gun uh, cycles. And when you pull this lever down, uh, what you're doing is pulling this down. That corresponds with that notch. And that's what holds your barrel in. It slides under these two rails here, locks in this notch, and that's what locks your barrel into place in the firearm. So that's why it comes apart the way it does. Uh, and that's why you have to kind of get it to this point here and just line it up and pull back and your barrel latches into that. So we're just going to give this a little cleaning and uh, uh, I'll uh, take my little toothbrush here and dip it in some hoppies. And we're just going to clean this breech face and just kind of remove some of this factory oil uh, and... Uh, run a jag through the barrel now this does have a threaded muzzle right here uh, I can't turn that by hand it would probably take a little little bit of a wrench to uh, loosen that up the first time but uh, you know I don't have a suppressor so that's not something that I'm particularly concerned with is removing that but if you're going to run a, a, a suppressor or you want to put a compensator or something on it you know that uh, that little barrel uh, thread protector does come off. So I'm gonna get my little 22 uh, 
brush out here with that this is actually a pistol cleaning kit so it's got 22 uh, uh up to uh i think nine millimeter maybe 40. got me some patches here already pre-cut and my 22 jag and my 22 brush so we'll get everything should have had this out already sorry guys i don't want this video to go real long uh, but i thought i'd just bring you along and uh we'd do the first initial cleaning on this uh, uh together so i'm gonna dip my bore brush there and a little bit of hoppies i'm gonna run that through just to remove any factory oil or grease or anything that might be in it might have been test fired from the factory and uh let's see if we can see down through that barrel I know that uh, I've seen on there that the uh, newer barrels have uh, one video I watched. They had one little mark here. This one has two. So maybe this is maybe a second generation and that the older barrels had a different font for the, uh, the writing on the barrel. So this is obviously a, a newer generation barrel that's probably doesn't have the issues that the... Uh, the first batch had i know they had some bad barrels in the beginning and i think tars uh, uh replaced all those with no issue uh, from what i hear on the internet there was no issue getting those replaced by tars which is good i mean a, a company that puts out a defective product uh, should uh, should stand by that and make it right uh and tars is not always had the best reputation for customer service i should know because i swore them off for years because of a, a bad experience i had with another gun now i have owned many good tarses through the years and i've had a few that weren't so good so but uh what what really got me on them is the the response i got from customer service it wasn't a matter of the gun i still own the particular gun that i had the issue with and the gun itself is awesome and i know any any manufacturer can have a gun that has an issue that's that's not the the point the point is their uh, lack of uh, uh caring about the customer is what turned me against them and why i swore them off for so many years but you know i'm willing to give them another shot so there's our barrel that looks fairly clean we'll we'll lube this up before we put it back in the gun i'll put some rim oil on it and we'll get it lubed up see if we can see down that barrel i don't know how well that'll focus but try to give you a little look i know some of the early barrels had some chatter marks in the in the rifling so hopefully this one doesn't have those issues from what i see through the camera lens everything looks good but i'm about half blind so it don't uh, don't matter anyway so here's our slide and this slide is extremely lightweight it is a aluminum alloy i think it's t t70 t the same stuff uh ar-15 uh lowers are made out of 70 75 uh, aluminum is what i I think I read somewhere or somebody I watched on another video. Of course, I know you can't believe everything you see on uh, YouTube. So, but we're going to clean around our breech face. We're just going to take some hoppies and just kind of clean the inside of the slide. Get any oil or anything like that that's in there out. Just give it a kind of degrease it with the with the hoppies. Uh, I should probably, and I'm not quite sure, well, let's just delve into this together, let's see how this works, let's see if I got something that's too big, uh, get a little something here to push that in with. We'll just use this little file. Now, best I can tell, you push in on your this here, and this 
backing plate should slide off if I'm doing this correctly. Yeah. So you slide that, you know, popped it back in. So start that. Oh, well, I just lost a part. Let me pause this and see if I can find it. Well, that was luck. I found that part. It shot over there and hit the wall. But what, what shot out was this little, uh, little uh, piece that goes in your spring there, which sets in the back of this, this plate. So when you remove that, be very careful because that will come out. So let's see how this, uh, this comes out. I watched another video where they removed this, so I would just like to clean that striker housing. Let's see if maybe push that down. Well, I guess I should have watched that video a little closer. So there's your there's your striker. I don't see any pins holding this. So maybe this is beyond me taking out right at this moment until I do a little more a little more research. I probably shouldn't have attempted this until I watched a uh, few more videos on how this is done. It looked pretty straightforward in the video I watched. Maybe I'm missing something here. Uh, maybe I have to depress that and push back. Some of them I know you had to push down this. This is kind of like maybe a drop safety. Well, that doesn't look too bad anyway. Let's just not to... I'm not going to fool with that right now. Sorry about that. Kind of led you on a wild goose chase there. So when you're putting this back in, just be careful when you depress that. Because that is under quite a bit of spring tension. So I'm going to take my little punch here. Depress that down far enough. Capture that. So yeah. I'll uh. We'll do that at a later video. I watched a video on that earlier, and it looks fairly simple. So, anyway, sorry about that. And I'll get a lot of hate mail for that, for not being uh, knowledgeable about what I was doing and attempting to take my gun apart, you know. But, you know, live and learn. That's my motto. So, anyway, I'll clean that at some other point. I'll take that... Uh, striker uh, block out and clean that striker channel and get make sure there's no factory grease or anything like that on it should have brought me out some q-tips but i didn't do that either so anyway we're just going to clean this up real good and make sure there's no factory grease or oil or anything like that in it just get it ready to uh shoot its first rounds tomorrow so Anyway, that looks pretty good. And now we'll just take our frame here. And uh, I'm going to take a little bit of hoppies and just kind of clean any grease or anything like that off of it. And this gun is new, so it's, you know, it's not dirty. So may have had a couple few rounds through the, uh, put through it at the factory. I'm not sure if... Uh, they test fire these at the factory or not. Most manufacturers do. So, but uh, I'm not sure that they do that. If you know, chime in. Let me know. Most of them do kind of run a few test rounds. So, so this is kind of a unique looking system. I'm not sure how this striker actually works. I mean, there's your trigger bar, I guess, when this pushes up. Uh, I kind of think I see now. When the trigger bar pushes up, it pushes that up and p pushes this, and that's probably your your release for your striker. 
this probably catches your striker when this pushes that bar up it releases a striker to send it home that's my guess so like i said uh i'm not an expert on these if you know let me know guys i'm strictly an amateur gun owner i've owned guns my entire life i've shot guns my entire life i don't claim to be an expert on anything uh period about of anything i just show you kind of what i do this is for entertainment purposes you know take what you take from it and uh and uh but i would appreciate it if you don't like the video just move on to somebody else's you know uh, i ain't asking nobody to watch uh if you don't like what i do just move on go on to somebody else's video if you feel like you have to say something you know at least keep it civil so anyway that's fairly clean now what i'll do is uh, i'm gonna take a little rim oil and i'm just gonna and there are high tech uh, lubricants out there that a lot of people use it would probably be better for this i'm gonna put a little bit here on this lock and look i'm just gonna put a little bit of a coat of oil over the entire gun just a just a light coating nothing nothing extreme i know that looks like a lot but i'll take my rag and kind of kind of wipe off a little bit of the excess just leave a light coating we'll drop our barrel back into our before i do that i actually want to take a couple drops and lubricate the inner rails here i just like to put a drop in there and just kind of let it run down either side i will put a drop right there just allow that to operate don't want to put it in a striker channel because we don't want oil or uh, dust and stuff or powder residue uh, clogging up the striker channel so i'll reinsert my barrel reinsert the guide rod recoil spring make sure that's centered and that looks pretty good for the slide uh we'll lubricate the uh we'll put just a little lubrication on these rails just a drop don't have to be excessive put a little bit right there put a little bit there there and we'll put a little drop right there just enough to maybe a drop right there on the trigger bar that's it that's all i'm lubing so we'll let that uh we'll run this gun a little wet for the first few rounds just to make sure it functions to put your slide back on you get it to this position here uh, get it to right let me get it in the right place I'm fumbling a lot tonight, guys. Okay, so the barrel goes. So, what am I doing wrong here? Oh, there we go. So you got to get it to the right spot. Push it back. Just didn't have it where it needed to be. Function test is a time or two. Like I said, I have heard that these are safe to dry fire. I'm not going to make a habit of dry firing it extensively. But, uh, you know, you do have to fire it in order to to disassemble it you do have to pull the trigger uh, so if that's something that concerns you you might want to get some uh, some snap caps or something of that nature let me remove my glove here since i got all oil all over my glove and we'll 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 give it a last little rub down and 
we should be good to go. We'll reinsert our magazine. If you take this back plate off, uh, watch that because uh, that will shoot out. I was lucky I found that. Uh, if it went much further, it went down a crack between the walls. It was literally hanging there. I didn't know if I was going to be able to get it or not. So just be careful if you do uh, disassemble your, take your back plate off for your striker. Uh, I will uh, figure out how to do that. And uh, in a later video, we'll maybe take that out and clean the uh, striker channel. Uh, maybe after a few rounds and it becomes a little dirty, we'll we'll uh, we'll do that. Now, my intent tomorrow is to uh, bring this out tomorrow and at least put the first hundred rounds through it and see, you know, how it does. But so far, the little gun it feels awesome in the hand. It's uh. It just seems like it's going to be, and my best friend has one of these, and I have shot his, and his his shoots anything he puts in it. I mean, literally, the cheapest stuff you have, his will shoot it. His is one of the older ones, but uh, he's had his for probably close to a year now, and has shot and shot and shot it, and uh, he absolutely loves his, and uh, I'm hoping this one is an awesome gun, too. So anyway, guys, that was just the uh, uh, initial cleaning, uh, just getting this gun lubed up and ready to go uh, to put some shots through it tomorrow. I appreciate everybody that watches and takes the time to leave comments and and uh, watches my videos. Um, I'm sorry for a little bit of fumbling there with something I really didn't know about that I should have researched better, you know, but uh, such is life, you know. Uh, you think you know something and come to find out you don't. Uh, and, of course, uh, if you put that on film, you know, for everybody to critique, you know, sometimes you get called out on it. So that's that's fine. But, uh, you know, I put these videos out and I think everybody thinks I should be a, uh, you know, a uh, uh, highly paid or highly technical professional. But, you know, uh I don't edit this out, so if I screw up, I screw up. You know, I know other channels, you know, they probably take that stuff out and don't show you what actually goes on. You know, at least I'm honest enough to uh, share my mistakes with you. So, anyway, appreciate you watching, taking the time, leaving comments. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. And until the next video, which will be hopefully tomorrow, we'll shoot this thing. And uh, we'll put at least 100 rounds to it just to... Bring it out and see what it does. Thanks, guys, for watching, and uh, we'll see you on a later video.